Hey guys, John Joe back again. Um, got Archer with me today, my uh, littlest lad. Um, today we're going to be making a desk tidy. Desk tidy, which, um, which will be what? A castle. In the shape of a castle. Dead easy. All this stuff you'll have laying around at home. So for this, we're going to need a sort of squarish box, which will be the front of the castle, and then we'll need about six toilet roll tubes, which you should have loads of at home. So if you grab those, mate, we'll go and get started straight away. Right, so, so what have we got? We've got the towers, which will be the pens, paintbrushes, pencils, whatever. And then we've got the castle in there, which will be the rubbers, rulers, and yeah. First of all, get two of the toilet tubes and just glue them together and then put one against the other, just like that, simple as that. That's all you gotta do. Then you stick those on to the side, okay? So put it down flat, put them on, make sure they're stuck together. How are you getting on? Fine. Perfect, big blobs of glue. Then our last tube, Archie's got three, I've got three. So we've stuck two on this side, onto our box. We're gonna stick the other two on this side on our box. Then our last one is gonna sit as the top. So you've got a short tower and a tall, a tall tower. This can be for big pencils, brushes, whatever. This could be for small pencils, whatever. Then stick that on top of the back tube, okay? So you've got centerpiece, one tube near the front, two tubes at the back. Then we just gotta wait for it to dry. Um, we're gonna do a base at the bottom of it, so when you pick it up to move it and do your work, everything's not gonna fall out the bottom. So you can use any old piece of card. Where's he, we're just using a piece from an old colouring book, okay? We stand it on top of our base like this, then all we gotta do is do a rough, pencil line just around the edge, it's not going to be perfect, but cut it out slightly larger than it actually is, okay. If you're not good with scissors, you can get someone to help you. We can glue around the edges, plonk it onto our base, and that should stick now. Then, all we do is get our glue, get a piece of paper, say like that, and then you can, there's two ways you can do it. You can either paste it on like this, you can put it in and get really messy. Either way, make sure that you get a good bit of glue on it, okay? Then, you can start to cover all of your cardboard pieces. So we're gonna let it dry tonight. Yeah. And then tomorrow, what are we gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna to decorate it. How are we gonna do that? So maybe we'll paint it. And then after that, we'll put all the pens and pencils in. Cool. Let's let it dry. Right, we're back. Um, so the next day, we've let our castle dry overnight. Now you can see we've got our towers, everything we need. The bottom is on there so nothing can fall out of it. So what we're going to do next is mix up. What are we going to mix up? So we're going to mix up the black paint and the white paint to make grey. Black and the white, because we want it to be a grey castle. Okay, then we're going to put detail on. So when you're mixing paint, because we want grey, which is a light black, okay, we want to mix a tiny bit of black with the white, not the other way around, or you'll have to put loads of white into the black. So tiny bit of black paint into the white. 
like this. So with that, you can be adding a bit of black paint, bit at a time. Now don't forget a castle will not be, you know, a real castle won't be completely gray all the way around it. It'll have different shades of gray, might have a bit of green on there, bit of brown. So probably a little bit more black because once you've mixed it, you can add detail and you can add some white to get highlights. How are we doing? Great. Think that'll do? Yeah. Right, let's paint it. So now we're going to take our nice newly mixed grey paint and start adding it to our castle. So we want to cover the whole thing. It might take two coats, but it all depends on the paint you're using, you know, how thick you want it to look. Sometimes it's good to have a bit of that paper showing through. You know, your newspaper that you covered it with because it then gives you a bit of random detail on there. But we're going to paint it and see how it looks. So we've been making the doors, the windows and the turrets to put on top of the um, towers. Okay, so we've just chopped these out of a leftover piece of card. Nothing too special, just little windows, a door. We're gonna color these in, and then we're gonna stick them all over our castle. Should we color them in? Yeah, so I'm gonna color all these in yellow to make it all colorful, and then I can detail it with some black pens. We're just adding on the windows and after we've done that we can do it with a fine pen go over it with a fine pen and put some details on there that's what we'll do next once all this glue and paint is had a chance to dry it's looking good isn't it? that's my last piece of detail done ready to put on my desk and there we go